Welcome all. I'll be talking about how to present a global name. To present, you must first click on present now option. Present now option is located on the right below corner of your Google Keep window. There are three ways of presenting in the Google Keep. One, you can present your entire screen. Two, you can present a specific window. Three, you can present a Chrome tab. To talk about these three types, basically, if you are presenting your entire screen, that means anything that is being visible in the screen, it will be presented to the viewers. Uh, if you are presenting a window, this is mostly recommended to be used if you are going to build it on a particular PowerPoint slides or a particular software. So it would avoid presenting other unwanted things that you don't want to show to the viewers of your company. Third, by using a Chrome tab, this is recommended or this is uh, this type of presentation is selected if you want to present anything from your uh, internet or Google Slides or a particular software that runs on uh, Google Cloud. Open source clouds or anything you want to be presented to the online from online. System. So these are the three options that are available when you select or click on present now. I'll be talking about all these three. First, if you want to present your entire screen, you may keep the presentation open and then minimize the before presenting your screen. That is the option. Uh, this would help the presenter to to minimize the view of unwanted things. Like uh, if you want to present a particular PowerPoint, you can keep it open uh, and minimize it. The moment you present the entire screen, you can just open the PowerPoint. So the viewers won't be able to see your desktop or folder where it lies or any other such data. Uh, so, to find your entire screen option, you can click on present now and then select your entire screen. A window will pop up with an image of the screen on it and a share button. But you can see the share button is inactive. The reason behind this is that you have it selected the screen to be presented. This basically uh, means that like it can be used for multi screen purpose for them which screen to be presented. This will be used single screen, still it asks you to select the screen. So this is the reason why it is asking which screen to be selected because it supports multi screen uh, presentation as well. So you need to select the image of the screen that you want to present. For example, if I have selected it and the share button is active. Click on the share button to present the screen. Your entire screen will be presented. A small dialog box will appear on the center below of your screen. Start talking about something. Stop sharing and hide. Don't forget to click on hide button. It helps the viewers to get a clear, visible view of your screen. Usually, when the presenter forgets to click on the hide button, this this dialog box is visible on the screen and it creates a disturbance in the slides or in the uh, content you want to show, it comes over it. So, after you see the screen saying that you are presenting to everyone, you can open your presentation that was kept minimized. After you are done with the presentation, you need to stop presenting. For that, you need to select or click on your presenting and uh, select the option. This was all about presenting your entire screen. Next, we'll go for presenting a window. As told earlier, this option is recommended if you want to just present a single or a particular PowerPoint slide or a particular software or any particular window. So, for this, but it is mandatory or compulsory, keep the presentation or the window that you want to present in minimize mode before presenting your screen or presenting a window. The reason or why it should be so, I will tell you. Go to present now and select a window.
window option. Now, the reason why it should be opened and minimized and kept is that when you select a window, a window will pop up showing all the windows or window tabs that are open in the system. For example, uh, in my system now, you can see that Chrome window, PowerPoint window, Paint and a desktop folder is open. So this is the reason why I told that before presenting, by using a window option, you need to first open and keep the presentation. So again, you can see the share button is inactive. The reason is same. You need to first select the window that you want to present. For example, in this case, I have selected the PowerPoint window. The moment I click on the PowerPoint window, the share button is active. Just click on the share button and you will be presenting PowerPoint. The moment you click on the share button, it will redirect to the PowerPoint window. Don't forget to click on this hide button. After completing the presentation of a window, you can come back to the Google Meet and you have to stop presenting by again clicking on your presenting and then stop presenting. The third option is a Chrome tab. Uh, this is particularly, uh, I would love to use it if I am presenting to Google Slides because the main reason, the main reason is that uh, while presenting this slide, I can run or play around other tabs or work on other tabs. The other advantage of this uh, by using a Chrome tab presentation is that like uh, in the other two cases, if you are presenting your entire screen, a particular presentation or presenting a window uh, and in window a particular presentation, you won't be able to interact or see the Google Meet for participants. That means if you want to see, you come back to Google Meet, the participants may be able, may not be able to see your screen. This is the reason why uh, I, I would prefer a Chrome tab. Uh, I will show you an example how uh, it helps to play around other tabs. So select a Chrome tab option from the present now. And then again a window will pop up with an inactive share button. The reason is again same you haven't selected the tab that you want to present. In this case, uh, it is showing the options of all the tabs that are open in your Chrome, in your Google Chrome. Uh, so, for example, in my case, the Google Meet, my Gmail account, uh, Google Slide, and my Drive is open. So, it is showing all those four options with an inactive share button. Uh, another thing, another small option you can see called Share Audio. Uh, the, uh, if, for example, if you are sharing a YouTube or a video uh, and uh, there is some audio in it and you want the speakers or uh, sorry the viewers to hear the audio with the video that you are sharing and you can check this box else if you want the viewers to just see the video and only your audio that you are speaking that you can uncheck this option. So once uh, you are selected a particular tab that you want to present then a uh, share, share button would be active. Just Click on the share button and it will redirect you to the tab that you want to present. For example, in this case, it has redirected the slide. Another interesting thing is that uh, you can see blue border, a blue border. This blue border uh, tells us that actually uh, Google Meet is presenting only the contents that is inside this blue box. No other contents outside the Google. This blue box is being presented to the viewers. That means the viewers can't see the tabs that I have opened up or uh, what I am doing with, uh, by minimizing the screen. If I minimize the chrome, still this tab would be presented and I can work on behind with like for example if I am working on some spreadsheet or uh, my word document. Uh, also, another thing, another interesting thing of uh, presenting by using a Chrome tab is that if you can switch the tab, uh, like for example, uh, if I have, uh, if I have, if I want to present this Google search uh, tab instead of my Google slide tab, just I need to click on this share tab, this tab instead. This option is not available while you are presenting uh, by using a window. Like for example, if you have selected a window. 
only that window will be present. For example, if you are presenting a PowerPoint uh, or a PowerPoint that window that you have selected, and another PowerPoint window you want to switch to another PowerPoint window, you need to again go back, close the presentation, or switch off the presentation, or stop presenting, and then you need to present again, selecting another window. So in this Chrome tab, you don't need to stop presenting. You can directly switch the tab instead by itself, clicking on Share this tab. After presenting, just uh, completion of presenting, you can click on the stop button and the presentation will be stopped. Thank you.